Stella, you're the next on the list, and I already introduced uh, your topic. It's the presentation of the new competency framework. Um, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Robert. And hello to everybody across the world. And uh, I congratulate and say a happy International Consultants Day. And I wish you a happy and successful year ahead uh, with this uh, important day. And let me just put on my presentation on presentation mode. So I hope you can see it. OK, so I will focus on the uh, uh, competency framework of um, consultants, management consultants, uh, the new framework, but mainly focus on the future uh, related ones and the main changes in the whole set of framework in this presentation. Let's just remember the vision and mis mission of ICMCI. Uh, the vision and mission, we say, uh, the, the vision is to be a leader in the development of management consulting as a global profession that drives social and economic success. So driving global, driving social and economic success as a global profession needs some vision and also capability to see the future and uh, understanding the environment. I mean, the ecosystem, the business ecosystem stakeholders of the uh, projects and also clients ecosystem. So the, these will be also mentioned in the competences I will explain in a couple of minutes. And the mission to build the profile, recognition and influence of the profession and its practitioners globally. So the profile is also uh, uh, supported and uh, described through the competences Recognition, also we have added some levels uh, or uh, profiles in the recognition dimension and influence of the profession and its practitioners globally is also integrated with the competence framework. The, uh, just a little bit of a professional standards committee, which I represent here. Uh, our main uh, terms of res reference or main function is the development and maintenance of professional standards and guidelines that promote excellence in consulting profession, including awards, recognition, and uh, certifications, qualifications, and assessment processes. So they are all integrated uh, through uh, PSC, Professional Standards Committee, and also uh, working together with QAC, Quality Assurance Committee, and other committees as necessary. So we built the technical core or technical set of competencies for management consultants in this sense and updated as we need uh, based on the requirements or the market needs. So if you look at this picture as a whole, uh, we've, we've focused on our, uh, on our members or our uh, consultant uh, friends, colleagues, uh, from three different dimensions. One is competence, which is uh, uh, mainly uh, branded and described under the title of CMC, Certified Management Consultants, and I will go into that detail. And the other dimension is the behavior of the consultant, which is very important and critical in managing relations with stakeholders, clients, and clients, uh, stakeholders, and other uh, uh, players in business, the behavior, the code of conduct. It is also continuously reviewed and improved uh, depending on the uh, requirements and situations in business and uh, global Emil, world ting, conditions. Ting, 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 ICMCI consultants, the like and uh, another dimension. Another dimension. Like ICMCI, I think. Go. Go. Can you can you mute your microphone, please? So uh, the other dimension is the process itself, the <coughs> consultancy service, and it is described uh, through ISO twenty seven hundred. And uh, as PSC, we are also working on this and delivering training courses on the checklist to describe the roles of the client and the consultant in a structured way based on the process approach. So three dimensions. One is the competencies 
of the management consultant as a person, as a consultant, the service provider. The other one is his or her behaviors through code of conduct. And the third dimension as the process of consultancy service. So let's focus on the con uh, concept through first ICMCI competence framework. The main areas of competence uh, are divided into the titles of um, business insight and aptitude, consultancy practice capabilities, consultative behavior, ethics and professional conduct. The cluster of related abilities, commitments, knowledge, skills, and experience that a management consultant should demonstrate are described in these areas to achieve CMC award. And all of these areas, areas of competences, are divided into subtitles. And I will give you some examples of those. And uh, around business insight and aptitude, understanding the business of client and understanding the environment of the or ecosystem of the client and aptitude, consultancy practice capabilities, including the capabilities of how to provide consultancy in a good way, in the best way, and consultative behavior with ethics and also with standards, high standards, uh, supported by tools and techniques uh, in our days of uh, change and transformation. And ICMCI code of conduct, which is uh, mainly related to ethics and behaviors, and uh, this is uh, uh, clearly defined and mainly focused on stakeholders and responsibility because when when doing the when providing the consultancy service consultants are expected to behave in ethical way and in uh, in line with code of conduct but also focusing on relations management balance of relations managing the conflict of interest and other issues these are all related to all stakeholders, like clients, society, organization, colleagues, and the profession. In these days, as you know, we are experiencing a big transformation from different dimensions, like digitalization, like uh, technology change, like climate change. And as mentioned already, uh, SDG uh, related subjects and social responsibility and many other uh, global trends uh, around us. And these have high impacts on clients. So we need to understand our clients in the best way, in a good way. And society is becoming more and more um, evident and more and more, let's say, visible in all relations. And uh, the organization and colleagues and the profession itself, uh, as far as the code of conduct and the behaviors are important, then the uh, dimensions related to these are uh, in the agenda or in the uh, list of uh, items to pay attention for the consultants. So in addition to these, we have, as I mentioned, we have the process dimension. In the process dimension, the consultancy service is described with a, with a process approach from the beginning of the project and the implementation of the project and the closing of the project. The offer, implementation and closing. Very simple and lean process approach. Thanks to ISO and ICMCI that uh, we have this ICMCI project self-declaration list, declaration checklist. It provides guidance to both client and also um, consultants to implement the project with a common understanding already agreed at the beginning of the project. And it is made of, or it was developed uh, based on the best practice for application, very comprehensive, easy to understand, universal, flexible, because depending on the client needs and consultants way of providing the service, it is flexible and these flexible items or subjects are described and understood by the client and the consultant together. And beneficial for consultants and clients and common framework for both of them. 
and uh, prevent, uh, prevents misunderstandings because it establishes a common understanding between them and evaluation aid for the client. So this, this is this standard and the checklist, the use of checklist has been deploying across the world in a very good way. And we have been delivering uh, training courses to trainers uh, of the IMCs in the past period. And we will be continuing to do that, to deploy the common understanding and to deploy the checklist, self-declaration self checklist across the world. So the competency competence framework now, I will just highlight some characteristics, some important aspects uh, of the framework. The style of wording is descriptive rather than prescriptive. So the descriptive approach provides some key aspects, some um, uh, enlightening concepts or a little bit of guidelines for the consultants to understand the content and describes the principles, knowledge, skills, and experience that a competent or a mature management consultant demonstrates. And they are well described for three achievement levels like foundation level, CMC level, and profession leader. The profession leader has been added uh, during the uh, recent review and uh, uh, revision of the framework. So it, it has been gender neutral. As you know, we have um, global trends like SDG and diversity, inclusion, and equal rights, and other aspects in humanity and worldwide implementations. So we have also removed gender, uh, this gender differentiating words, and all personal pronouns, uh, pronouns have been non-gender specific. And uh, I just mentioned the three achievement levels, and the profession leader level requires in addition to the CMC characteristics or CMC requirements, a demonstration of leadership in the profession. So uh, as a whole, uh, it supports ICMCI values of professionalism, transparency, integrity, while promoting lifelong professional development. Lifelong professional development is also a key aspect in competence framework. We expect consultants to train uh, and develop themselves through a number of activities, learning activities, benchmarking, or participation to learning environments and uh, resources, using those resources. So the new uh, ICM side competency framework uh, uh, includes some aspects which, which provide some, let's say, descriptions of competencies for the management consultants to be ready for the near future. So since the theme or title of this session is management consultants and the future, how, how ready they are, how much ready are consultants or management consultants for the future under these big changes or transformation driven by the global trends, global mega trends and other drivers. So one is IT skills for effective communication and efficient administration. IT skills, including um, understanding the digital platforms, using the digital platforms, and also uh, understanding the capability, capacity of the clients in this, uh, in this respect. Another aspect uh, or key app update uh, with respect to 2014 version is awareness of and ability to apply latest technology for diagnostics and solutions. So again, this needs openness to change, openness to understanding the transformation and change and being able to adapt to the latest technology. And more emphasis on interpersonal skills have been given uh, has been given in the competence framework, the, the most recent competence framework, emotional intelligence has been one of the key aspects. And this is also an aspect, uh, aspect which was also uh, uh, suggested or uh, recommended to a number of industries by World Economic Forum and uh, other organizations as the uh, near future competencies in many, many 
uh, let's say, in many professions and managerial or leadership uh, competencies. Societal awareness, we have focused on application of United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals, and they were specifically mentioned, clearly described in the relevant competences in the competence framework. So uh, we have integrated the competence uh, set of the uh, management consultants to this set of 17 SDGs uh, in, to consider all aspects related to humanity, uh, environment, sustainability, society, technology, and other related subjects. So holistic and transformational thinking, I think, and uh, our PSC committee members and all the contributors and developers, we, we think transformational thinking is key in these days to be ready for the future and to understand transformation and the drivers behind transformation. Another aspect is also to support this one is the holistic approach, holistic thinking. The more the management consultant has the holistic capability of thinking or capability of transformational thinking, the, the better he understand or she understand uh, the uh, client uh, uh, who is in touch with him or her and also understand the ecosystem and the stakeholders. And uh, finally, in this list, uh, the last but not the least, integration with the code of conduct and ISO 2700, as I mentioned at the beginning, combining these with the behavioral aspects, code of conduct, and the process related aspects through ISO 2700 makes a very good set of uh, competency framework supported by these concepts for management consultants of today to be ready for tomorrow for the future. Yeah. So if you look at these, just remember the titles I have mentioned, business insight and aptitude, practice capabilities, consultative behavior, ethics and professional conduct, we have items or competencies under these titles. For example, uh, within the scope of business insight and aptitude, we expect the management consultant to be uh, capable of understanding the client, its business, its stakeholders. Stakeholder concept is becoming more and more dominant in these days, understanding the stakeholders and the, the ecosystem of the client. Specialism and sectorial knowledge also becomes a, a key factor for this purpose, business insight and aptitude. And the other dimension is consultancy and consulting business insight. Indeed, <clears throat> one of the requirements or one of the key aspects that clients expect from the uh, consultants is the insight. Uh, our, uh, one, of, one of our main roles is to provide insights for the organization uh, to develop further and to improve itself. Practice, practice capabilities uh, include more, uh, uh, more uh, process-related capabilities, assignment, engagement, management tech methodologies, the most recent ones, technology-supported technology ones, and consultative capabilities. Then we have consultative behavior, like personal capabilities, like communication, having empathy and making good relationships and managing uh, 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 conflicts and all other details described under those uh, clusters or uh, sections of the consultants uh, competence framework with personal behavior. And then we have ethics and uh, professional conduct to cover these areas. So just a few examples for you to become a bit more familiar uh, those who, for those who are not uh, familiar with the competency framework. As you see, we have three uh, uh, defined uh, profiles, foundation, the basic level of management consultants profile, and then we have CMC level, and then we have professional leader. And just for example, client business insight, we have, you see, client understanding, and uh, which includes core business, understanding the core business, the sector, and client operations and stakeholders, its stakeholders. 
and what is expected from the professional leader is to become uh, to have a depth of knowledge credible depth of knowledge across range of disciplines and sectors and businesses and environments like a reference point like a knowledge center like a knowledge resource for others client business knowledge and is also uh, a part of this cluster this section a1 client business in knowledge including researches similar to business and best practices analysis and processes and other scope of work and and then what is expected from professional leader le to lead by example to be a role model applying management and business principles and skills in their businesses another example from assignment management consulting process linked to ISO 2700 because it is the uh, process side so on the foundation uh, uh, column you see ISO 2700 and in CMC column you also see a mention on that so it is uh, linked and described in parallel to ISO 2700 and focus on the content of the assignment and the uh, other technical details, process related details. Another example from leadership area, uh, managing themselves and managing others are the basic uh, dimensions of uh, competences and foundation, CMC and profession leader are described accordingly to be in line with their positioning in the competence framework. And the last one, as an example, sustainability and corporate and social responsibility has been key part in the competence framework, and it includes, as you see, a United Nations 17 sustainable development goals, uh, also including professional leader and CMC level, and the other details are also mentioned here in this document. So just to summarize, we have the dimension of competence fit for the future and emerging trends, to be able and open-minded and adaptive for transformation, understanding, managing, and leading the transformation uh, through the business consultancy service or consultancy services, and supported by behavior in line with current values, core values, and code of ethics of ICMCI, CMC, and the process aligned with the approach. So, this new set of competences uh, has, has been uh, distributed to all uh, IMCs, International uh, uh, Management Consultants, Institutes of Management Consultancies, and uh, they are in a transition period to implement this competence framework in their processes for CMC assessments and also other documents and the uh, products or services and promotion activities with the potential clients and other uh, uh, players in their market or in their activity areas. And we will be supporting them in the following period of time, in the following months or years with the uh, QAC, Quality Assurance uh, Committee and PSC uh, to provide uh, details what has changed between the previous one and this one, and what is more critical, more dominant in this competence uh, framework, and also to support their assessment processes through the training or updating of their assessors. So I think this has been an <coughs> overall approach, overall summary, and if you need more details, we are always ready to support you and answer your questions. Thank you very much and enjoy your international consultant stay.